If I do a describe on the UTL file package, which is the facility we use to do file input and output on the Oracle database, I can close a file, I can copy a file, I can get attributes for the file, the size, etc. I can open a file, I can remove a file, I can rename a file, I can put out output to the file. It seems to have everything except the one thing I'd really like. If I'm dealing with files, what's the first thing you do when you're dealing with files? You want to get a listing of what files are there, and UTL file does not offer that. So here is my run directory command. It's very simple. I turn off Echo and I say directory of, I'm just going to do a listing of the Oracle 19C binary directory where all the executables are stored. You can see it simply does an output, typical Windows output, and I start listing out all the files in C Oracle product 19 bin. From an operating system point of view, that works just fine. Now I'm going to hook it into an external table. I create my table called directory listing. I've got F date, F time, AM, PM, because if I flick back a bit, let me flick back one slide, you can see that the PM, AM is actually a separate field to the time as well. So we've got date, time, AM, PM, and then the size and the file name. So I've got date, time, AM, PM, the size and the file name. How am I going to parse that? I'm going to parse it using white space. So when I encounter some white space, that means move on to the next column. I'm only going to load the rows when the file size does not equal the dir. That way I'm going to skip over that header information and I'm going to ignore directory information. I'm just going to get a listing of files and their sizes and I'm going to run my preprocessor option run dir.bat. I'm going to ignore any rejections because the first few lines is just that header information which I want to ignore. So I've built my external table and there we go. Now I can do a directory listing straight from inside the database. There is the listing of files in the C Oracle product 19 bin directory. Very, very cool. The rebuttal of that obviously is that's just one directory. And the reason I put this example here like that is I think that's a good secure option to go with. We're about to see how we can do that for any directory, but I prefer this kind of operation by default. Have a fixed list of scripts that let people access just certain directories. That way you've got nice security and nice tight control. You probably don't want people being able to run directory listings across any single database directory on your server. It's generally not a good thing to allow. But if you do want to do that, if you're, for example, on a non-production box or development box, we can exploit that a little bit further. I'm going to take my external table definition here, which currently has run dir.bat and run dir.bat, and tweak it. As we know, that file must exist, which is why I use the same file here as my preprocessor option. In that way, I know that file must always exist. But I'm going to change that to source directory.txt. That's going to be the name of the directory that I would like to run a directory listing on. That means I need to some mechanism to actually write to that file, source dir.txt, the name of the directory I'm interested in. Well, that's easy. Of course, I've got UTL file for that. UTL file can do that. I can simply open up that file, write out that I'd like to do a listing of C Oracle product 19 network admin to see where my TNS names files are, and then close the file. Once I've done that, I can now make a little batch script that says, print out the contents of source directory and run the dir command on that source directory. So I want to print out network admin, and there we go. Select star from directory listing, and I get listener, aura, SQL net, aura, etc. So lots and lots of power now being able to hook into operating system facilities. As long as they provide some sort of output, you'll be able to query that output via an external table.